What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cine Pack. Now the Cine Pack is a pack of pre-animated camera moves for you to drag and drop into your own Blender files. Uh, as you can see here, it is on the Blender market. Now the whole point of the Cine Pack is for you to increase production values quickly and easily by using pre-animated camera moves that, like I said, you can drag and drop into your project files and have instant professional camera moves that you can use for product videos, for short films, for music videos, for motion graphics, anything like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cine Pack in some demo files that I downloaded from Blender.org. Now you can go ahead and download these yourself. These are for free. Uh, all the ones I'll be showing you today are in EV, but the Cine Pack does work in cycles as well. So, with that out of the way, let's get on with our first one, and this is Wanderer. So, as you can see, we've got this running in EV in real time, and it's sort of like this space scene, so sort of like like it's on Mars or something. And we're going to give it a cool camera move. So, I've got the Cine Pack just here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Cinematic. And then I'm going to go slide right and then just click and drag the project file into here. Click append, collection, camera. Then as you can see just here, we've got the camera move. And obviously it's in the wrong place, but all of it's there. So what you can do to move the whole camera move and the animation without affecting the animation, just click on this empty here. And then you can move the whole animation. So because this is sort of like a sliding shot, let's just move that 90 degrees, let's move that over there, maybe scale it up a bit, hit zero. And with the empty still selected, you can move everything around without affecting the animation. So as you can see, it's all there. So let's move this back a little bit, uh, hit R and Y, and then you can maybe rotate this down a bit, hit G and Z, move it down. G and Y, and let's just have a look at this. It's a really nice cinematic, super easy, only took a couple of clicks, few seconds. So if we could wait to go to that end frame about there, hit G, and maybe we want the end frame to be about here, which is fine. And this is what we've got. As you can see, it's super simple, super powerful, and it's all completely customizable as well. So let's say if you want to add a bit more motion in there, what you can go ahead and do is with this empty selected, you can actually add keyframes onto this, onto the already keyframed camera move, so you can add more motion. So with the empty selected, hit zero, and then maybe let's hit R and Y, and start there, hit I, location, rotation, scale, and then go to the end frame and then just select the empty again, hit zero, maybe hit R, Y, and then maybe go to like there, hit I, lock rock scale, and there we've added some more movement really, really easily. So that's the first one. Let's move on to the second one. So as you can see here, we've got another project running in real time in Eevee and we've got this sort of particle simulation running here. So we want to add a camera move from the Cine Pack. So again, let's bring out the Cine Pack. Let's go to pushes and pulls. Maybe go for a pull and then let's go for a twist pull. Click and drag the project file. Hit append, collection, camera. Now if we hit zero, let me go back to the start. This is what we've got so far. So it's not really in the right place. That's what we can do. Again, like with all the different camera moves, you've got this empty here to move the entire camera move without affecting the animation. So let's click that. Let's just go into solid view for a second. And let's just see where this is at. So if we look at the simulation, And then let's find a point of interest where we can move the camera to. That's looking pretty good already. But let's say if we want to move it, again, you just click on the empty with it selected, hit zero. Then you can rotate. Let's move it over to sort of this bit. Maybe that'd be nice. Go to the start. 
So it's just a little bit fast in my opinion. Uh, we need to slow it down a little bit, you know, make it look a little bit more majestic. So what we can do is select this empty here, which is our point of interest. Select the camera and then click and drag these frames across, maybe to like 350, hit zero, go back to the start, see what this looks like now. Now we've got a lot slower animation. Which is really good. Now let's say we want the camera to end a little bit wider with this empty selected. Hit zero. Go into rendered view. Let's start from about maybe here. And then let's end a little bit wider, shall we? So let's just move camera just a little bit and you know you can just play around with this until you get something that looks right I want to see the tree by the end of it now let's see what that looks like that is looking really cool but I want to add a little bit more motion. So I want the camera to end on this frame here. But I want it to start more over here where the, uh, let's say, the fireflies are. So what we can do is come out of here. Hit one. With this selected, hit zero. Go to the end frame. Hit I, lock rot scale. Go to the start. Hit G. Or, oh, sorry. Y rather, and then rotate it to about there. Maybe let's punch in a little bit. Hit I, lock, rock, scale. Now, we've added more motion to the camera move. Looking good. Okay, so let's go to the final one. So we've just got this little creature here. We've got this guy here, and there's also a bit of an animation as well. So the frame rate is quite low because this is a very uh, intensive scene. As you can see, that's pretty cool. So let's add a camera move. So same again. Go to folders, and then find the cine pack. And let's go for zooms. Slow zoom. Click and drag it over. Append, collection, camera. Hit zero. And... Because of this project, the keyframes are a bit weird, so just drag it over to the start. And we've got that slow zoom there. But it's just slightly in the wrong place. So again, just grab this handle here, this empty. Hit zero. And then you can go ahead about there. And now we've got sort of like a National Geographic sort of camera shot where it slowly zooms in. Again, just ignore the frame rate. And again, you know, you can go ahead and add more motion to this. You know, all the camera moves are completely customizable. Uh, so you've got your camera here. You've got your empty here, which you move. You can scale, rotate, move to not affect the whole camera move. So this won't affect the camera move at all. You can just move this around. And then this is your point of interest, which the camera is connected to. All of this is key keyframeable. You can change everything. Uh, like I said, you can get the pack from Blender Market for $32. It comes with 45 pre-animated camera moves. Loads to choose from over six categories. So you've got chaotic, cinematic, flyovers, pans, pushes and pulls and zooms. And these are all typical camera moves that you'd find in Hollywood movies and stuff like that and it also comes with a free cable cam which you can use to create your own cinematic movements from scratch and then we've also got some free lighting assets as well that you can use to try out in your scene so i'll be adding more camera moves to this every month so if you do get it now the amount of camera moves will uh, exponentially increase over time so yeah if you want to get this packed head on over to blender market and get it today hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks again